Back to our breaking news. Now our top story this morning that Hamas has released two more hostages. They are two elderly women. These are not live pictures. Uh, this is uh, us running a replay now of the um, images that have just emerged, but it is definitely good news. So first of all, you've got Jokved Lifshitz. She's an 85-year-old who suffers from Parkinson's disease. And Nurit Cooper is the second woman who has also been released by Hamas this morning. So Hamas is claiming that the two hostages have been released on humanitarian grounds. They were handed over by Hamas to the International Red Cross. So the International Red Cross is the intermediary here. They're handling it. And this is the two women at the Rafa crossing. So it was, uh, it was done according to Hamas as a result of mediation involving Egyptian and Qatari authorities. And uh, as I mentioned, it was done on humanitarian grounds. Just checking a, a tweet from the Red Cross here. It says, we facilitated the release of two more hostages, transporting them out of Gaza this evening. Our role as a neutral intermediary makes this work possible and we are ready to facilitate any future release. We hope that they will soon be back with their loved ones. So just recapping the two women, Jokved Lifshitz and Nurit Cooper. Now, they were kidnapped on October 7. Their husbands were also kidnapped on October 7, but they remain in captivity. So we will be hoping uh, for some better news when it comes to those husbands, as well as the rest of the hostages for that matter. Now on that, Israel has confirmed this morning that there is a total of 222 hostages that Hamas has.